What's up, Little Sebastian TG? What's going on? We have a, another booster box, the Lord of the Rings Holiday Edition Collector. Uh, this time it is for my buddy, David Middleton. David, good luck to you, sir. Again, guys, if you're new to the channel, be sure to check out the description box down below of this video to check out our Facebook group, SIHobby.com. Using code BASHFAM gets you 10% off on their whole entire site. Uh, you can get Ravnica Remaster pre-orders for cheaper than anything that I've seen out there using that code. Uh, it helps my wallet, it helps your wallet, and it helps out a great bunch of guys over at SI Hobby. Also, if we hit 250 members, or I'm sorry, when we hit 250 members in the Discord, 2,000 members in the Facebook group, and 5,000 YouTube subscribers, by March 1st, we will give away three different collector boxes split between six people each, getting six packs of collectors each. The collector boxes are going to be three different types of collector boxes. It's going to be a little chaos, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and we're probably going to have one of those collector boxes be a Ravnica Remastered, an Exelon, and one of these Lord of the Ring Holiday Editions. So that's the plan moving forward. So be sure to share this with your friends and family, and let's get to those goals. Remember, 2,000 Facebook group members, which the Facebook group link is down below. 250 Discord members, which the Discord link is down below. And then 5,000 YouTube subscribers, which you can just smash, hit the bell notification, subscribe, and comment on this video right here, right now. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get cracking this booster box for David Middleton. David, thank you so much for sponsoring this, buddy. Um, we're going to see. I have a feeling I told David that we're going to get a serial serialized card. So we're going to go ahead and rip this bad boy open. See if we can find some Orcish Bowmasters, some serialized cards, delighted halflings, some Nazgul's, all kinds of stuff in these boxes, man. Tons of tons of awesome surge foils, the party tree, the one ring. It's, yeah, it's going to be good. I'm just trying to keep my eyes peeled for Nazgul's this time around. Borgund, Burgund of the Guard, and more Marshal of Rohan. Call forth the Tempest, Arwen, Mortal Queen, surge foil, mythic to start things off with a Buckleberry Fairy. Oh my gosh, another surge foil mythic. That's absolutely disgusting. Wow, we got to respect those mythics, man. This is uh, shaping up already to be a spicy start to the video. I think the last one we did was a spicy start to the video. And the Modern Horizons 2 was a spicy start to the video. So that's an epic first freaking pack. Let's go, baby. Pack number two. Man, this set has... Uh, I think this set is going to continue to climb in price due to the fact that there's just such a huge fan base for Lord of the Rings. All right. Ooh, Sauron of the Dark Lord, Mythic Foil. Very nice. Felby Streak. The Battle of Bywater. Myriotic Brandy Buck. Shadow of the Enemy. Sorcery Mythic Showcase Alternate Art. So far, we're at four freaking Mythics in two packs. Not bad at all. Oh, man. I, I need to pull a serialized card so bad. Please for my homie. Please for my homie. Let's give it up for David Middleton. Let's give him some luck. Let's get a one ring serialized. Can you imagine? Those are like freaking $3,000 right now. That's why, dude, you can get a card worth like three to five K in this collector box. That's what they're selling for like 300 bucks on TCG. Mithril Coat, nice hit. Prize Pig. Nazgul Battle Maze, very nice. Glowing Dwarf Emissary. Whoa, 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 whoa. Legolas, Counter of Kills. Adoras, Capital of Rohan. Treasure token. Beautiful treasure token, to say the least. Uh, so far, not bad at all. Um, I would like to see a couple of Delighted Halflings. We pulled a Surge Foil for uh, Paul Allison uh, the other day. That was pretty cool. And I know I skipped over a couple of Nazgul's. I was too excited, I think. All right. Shipwright. Doors of Durin. Legolas, quick reflexes. Love that card. Fall of Kayar Andras. Elrond, Master of Healing. Elvis Harbinger, nice. With a food and a smog token. Bron to pack number five. Almost halfway through this box. Guys, if you are enjoying this, please be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and help us hit our goals so we can give away a ton of more collector boxes and just you know, take money out of my wallet. That's that's the goal, right? We were, Our goal as a channel, as a YouTube channel, 
is to be one of the most giving back communities out there. That's always been the goal. And we've been doing a hell of a lot of stuff for the community, so it's been epic. Mordor on the march. Whoops, I'm putting all these in the wrong pile. Sorry, Mythics only in that pile. Mythics only. Tempt with discovery. Hmm. Whenever I hear the word discovery, I think of suits. The show now that is on Netflix. The wife and I have the wife and I have been watching that. Love that show. A little repetitive some seasons, but around the last season. I'm not gonna give any spoilers. I'm a little upset about the last season. Dunden Protector, Cavern Horde Dragon. Nice. The spell costs X less to cast, where X is the greatest number of artifacts on opponent controls. Flying Trample Haste. Whenever Cavern Horde Dragon deals combat damage to a player, you create a treasure token for each artifact that player controls. So if somebody pops out a Dockside Extortion, this thing has like 20 different treasures. You're casting this 6 6 Flying Trample Haste Dragon token for two Mountain Dude. And it's going to be quite often where you can cast that sucker. Ooh, Pelenter of Orenthak. Orenthak. This actually, uh, if you got this extended foil in the old, the first original Lord of the Rings collectors, it's worth like 90 to 100 bucks because you can only get it out of the collector booster samples. Interesting to see how much the search foil is in this set. Seasons passed. Love the card. Love these freaking tokens. I think the search foil tokens are always going to hold some sort of premium price on them because they're just so beautiful. Like if you were to just play some treasure tokens that were all surge foil or food tokens or human soldier tokens, like, that would be so cool. Everyone, like, it's, like, look at, oh, yeah, I cast a food token. Nah, bro, you just cast, like, God's food. <laughs> no Nazgul's that I've seen. If I've missed them, call me out in the comment section. Another Cavern Horde Dragon. These, I remember, were selling for a pretty penny. I got to double check the price on those. Another Mithril, court, mithril Coat Foil. Those were as well. Forge Anew. Gimli. Pact and Negation, fantastic freaking card. Pact and Negation is seen in a lot of CDH play as of late. Um, so this is definitely getting a sleeve. It is an uh, expensive card all around. Borderless. Not, I mean, it's a fantastic kick. It's a, it's, it's a very widely used card. So good hit on that. Let's get a one ring from my boy. Galadriel of Lothlorien. Mines of Moria. Rally the Galid Galidrim. <laughs> Counter target account create a token that's a copy of target creature you control. Interesting. Call of the Ring Surge Foil, the original art for the collector boxes. In the first set. Explore, borderless foil, Orcish Army food token. Alright, we're down to our last four packs for David. Let's go, David. Come on, buddy. Let's get this bread. Good luck, bud. Hmm. No Nazi, no Nazi. Flowering of the White Tree. This was some hype speculation at first. Haven't seen too much play of it though. Assemble of the Ent, Moot, Ramas, Encore, Echor, Ancient Shield. Press the enemy. Ooh, nice. Gandalf of the Secret Fire Surge Foil. Mythic baby. Nice freaking hit. Elvis Harbinger. You should be getting one more alternate art in this box, if I'm not mistaken. That is a sick hit, bro. Oh, dude. I don't know the price on that, but Gandalf is uh, going to be a huge sought-after card, especially in a Surge Foil art like that. I still, I don't think I've seen a Nazguli. Subjugate the Hobbits. Andural. Narsil Reforged, Shagrat Loot Bearer, Fanghorn Forest Surge Foil, very nice. Explore, nice Mythic Surge Foil hit there. Very nice. Here we go, two packs left. Thank you guys so much if you're still watching for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. It really does help out the channel and all that good stuff. So thank you again, guys. Be sure to check out the description box for all the links so we can hit our goals. of Remember, remember it is 250 Discord members, 2,000 Facebook group members, and 5,000 YouTube subscribers by March 1st. And we're going to give away three collector booster boxes split between six people. Uh, details on that will follow soon. Treebeard, Eldest of Ants. Interesting hit. 
don't know if I've ever pulled that. Last pack, Magic Pretty David. Thank you again so much for sponsoring this booster box, David. Uh, it means a lot to me. A uh, longtime patron now, a great guy. Unfortunately, he has to... Uh... <sighs> There's a foil, Nazgul, finally. Got to save up a little money for the new vehicle, right? So we'll have to hopefully get him some luck in this last pack magic for the gods of Wizards of the Coast. Mirkwood Elk, Betagun to the god. Gandalf the Secret Fire again. Horn of Gondor, Surge Foil, that's a nice hit. And Stone Hewer Giant. It oh, you only got one alternate art in this set. That is unfortunate, my friend. Unfortunate indeed, but you know what? That's just the way the cookie crumbles sometime. Again, thank you, David Middleton, for sponsoring this box. And can't wait to see you in the next one and in the next battles to come. All right? Much love, everybody. Take it easy. Stay groovy. Stay safe out there. Ghost Pepper to the face coming out.